North American traders. Let's look at this Bitcoin chart. Down 3.7% today. We kind of cruised through this 18,000 level, but then rebounded. One of the key supports here is the 200 hour support. As you can see from this chart, it's been a long time since we've been through this. And until we get through it, it's very supportive and it's a buy on dips. We're looking for lower volatility in general now that the futures cover this market. So any big push on the downside we see as a buying opportunity. That said, t intraday today we will have stops if we get through the 17,800 level. Just a quick update on the Bitcoin. In the conventional world, as we talked about this morning in Europe, we're waiting for this 9840 level to break. We've traded 40, we're at 43 now. Overall, incredibly quiet G7 currency world. So in this environment, you just want to grab your pips, not look for any kind of home run type trade. And for this catalyst, we wait for news about taxes. So if there's bad news about taxes, if someone gets cold feet and they don't seem to have enough votes in the house, this will be the metric. What else do we have? Cable printed a new low down through 54, those 62 lows, but now has bounced and is basically unchanged on the day. And dollar CAD. We're still looking at this top side in dollar CAD. Very, very quiet. Mercy. 27, 26 pip day. Down to 50. Tippity top was 76. Now we're 56. But we are looking at this through through 80. We're going to be getting our initial longs that we're going to be adding through 94. And then conviction adding up through 129.15. This is very interesting, and maybe it should be for later in the week. As you can see, we've had this sideways consolidation for about a month now. So, with the 200 day moving average at 31, prices up through there become very convincing for a, a bigger, longer term, more sustainable rally in dollar CAD. Quick note on Aussie Yen, if S&Ps get through 2700, 2696 now, S&Ps normally just through correlation should rise. This 8650 point looks like an interesting place to get long, but again, we're just nibbling into profits this week, waiting for headlines maybe try for a little bit more money but the week before Christmas a lot of traders have already closed their books and are taking the time off so let's be nimble and uh, keep it flexible all right good luck out there we'll talk to you guys tomorrow ciao